Yeah. All right, so I watched the Porto episode today, and uh, it was all right. <laughs> I guess it was alright. I liked it better than the last episode, mainly because of the fact that just so you know this Tento kid that appeared in the previous episode and is kind of the main focus of this episode. The whole thing about him, and they kind of make that more obvious in this episode and the previous one, is that you know this Tento kid is very similar and and sort of different other kinds of ways to Borto than anyone else in the entire cast. And the, and the fact that he doesn't see his father very often, his dad is, you know, a high-ranking person, such as the feudal lord, and because of that, because they never see each other, they don't have a really... They don't really have a bond or a relationship together, and... Uh, they don't have a bond, they don't have a relationship together, and so the feudal lord, which is Tento's dad, EQ, or how you pronounce his name, he doesn't really know what his son wants or needs, just to enjoy himself in life, and that's why you see Tento kind of pull out this, you know, this black card, which is essentially just a credit card, to pull out, he pulls it out just to buy anything that he wants, because he just wants it, you know? And it's just, it's just supposed to show a more bratty version of what Boratov could have been like if he didn't decide to want to become his own individual person and more so just become, you know, a, a shinobi, a ninja, and just, you know, show off that he has merits of his own and that he has a reason of being around as well, other, other than just to be the son of the Hokage. And, you know, just... I get that, and someone pointed it out to me in my comments, actually, in my last Borzo review, and I was like, yeah, I see where you're coming from, and they definitely make it more obvious in this episode, right? But it's just, like, the difference between, you know, Borzo and this, you know, this kid, Tento, who shows up in a previous episode, is that Tento just... He acts super bratty, he he owns up to, you know, knowing that he's special in some sort of way by being the son of the feudal lord and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And he knows that he can pretty much just get anything that he wants just because he's, you know, connected to someone who's a high-ranking official. You know, because his dad is the son of the feudal lord of an entire nation. And the difference between him and Boruto is that Boruto always wanted to be seen as his own individual person, person, and that his strengths are meaningful in their own ways. He he wanted to be seen as someone other than, oh, just the son of the seventh, seventh Hokage. You know, just it was it was handled differently, and Boruto was handled differently compared to this kid that we might as well never gonna see again after the, all this stuff is over with. But just. It was just different. It was handled differently and just with Boruto was a lot more understandable because every person wants to be seen as their own individual person. With this Tenzo kid, he just came off as more spoiled and bratty and just more annoying and just, he wasn't likable. With Boruto, he wasn't that likable as well, at least in the beginning, but at least you can sort of get where he's coming from and you can sort of sympathize with him to a certain extent but just then you see this kid and you see him more and you see him act more and act out more and just it just comes off as more annoying than anything else and so the whole purpose of this episode is to kind of have him break out of that personality and not act like that anymore and kind of you know take on uh, what Borto has been trying to do for the past you know two and a half three years since, you know, the Borzo show uh, has been going on. And, you know, I like that. I like that he's not nearly as annoying anymore. But, honestly, all it really does is just kind of make me not really care what happens to him. Or if we're ever going to see him again. Because I already kind of have an idea of the fact that we're never going to see this kid again. So getting invested into him isn't going to really mean too much by the end of the day. By the end of the, this, you know, arc. It's just, it's not going to matter. You know, just, we're going to have to continue on further with what with, with what else we're going to be getting and just it doesn't really matter you know just any episode you know this tento kid you know ends up learning learning how to throw a shark and um you know bored so kind of you know, you know full, uh, kind of like plays a prank on him by doing the harem jutsu which i thought was funny in the sense that the kid doesn't react to it like how most people react to it that that was kind of funny at least 
And then his and Nintendo's butler guy it doesn't really matter who he is. He's just the butler. He ends up getting you know killed by the Mujina gang boss, and then he ends up using his you know jutsu to basically transform into the butler guy. And in the next episode, we're gonna see him kidnap uh, Tenso and use him as bait for the feudal lord because they're going after him essentially. Um. Uh, that was kind of it. Nothing else really happened in the episode, and it was only okay. I liked it more than the last episode, because at least this feudal lord, kid, Tento brat motherfucker wasn't nearly as annoying as the previous episode, but it still, by all means, wasn't amazing, and it was only okay. You know, it just wasn't nearly as annoying, and at least there was one moment where I actually found it pretty funny, and I, and I acknowledge the fact that the two of them are pretty similar, but just Borto is just so much more likable now than anything else in the entire show than what he was before. Just, I don't know. At least the animation was pretty. <laughs> at least the animation was pretty at times. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay inside. Watch anime. Play games. I'll see you guys next one. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Peace.